Hello everyone, today I want to take you through the newest release from Zendesk Cell, and that is Sales Triggers. It's part of our workflow automation capabilities. So we'll start at the Zendesk Cell home dashboard. On the left-hand side, we'll click Settings, and then we will scroll all the way down to Business Rules and Find Triggers. Uh, here you can see the current list of triggers that you have available. So we currently have one called Source Emptiness. It is active. You can click on the Inactive tab and see ones that are inactive. You can also click into edit or deactivate current triggers. But we need to add a new one, so we will go into the builder. And at the top, you will need to create a name. So I want to create one for a hot deal. You'll see next is the when or the trigger event. So when deal is updated in this case, and we will be adding more in the future, uh, then it'll go to the if this, then that part of the function. So when a deal is updated and if it meets certain conditions, then an action will be performed. So if a deal, and it'll always be deal in this case until we add additional uh, objects. So if a deal value is greater than 2,500, we'll add that. So now it's saying when a deal is updated, if the deal value is greater than 2,500, an action will perform. We can add additional conditions here, like a nested condition saying uh, the currency is US dollars. So we can say now, if the deal value is greater than 2,500 and the deal currency is US dollars, then an action will perform. If we wanna add another condition, we can do currency again in this case and it'll be is British pound, I can add that and then can change the condition to or. So it's if the deal value is greater than 2,500 and the currency is US dollars or British pounds, then we'll perform an action. So in the action, it'll perform the object update to a deal and we are going to want to mark it as hot. So we'll find hot, add that. And additionally, uh, since we know that this deal will be hot and it'll be in a uh, higher value, we can move the deal stage as well from prospecting to qualified because we know that's in a condition that we want uh, our deals to be in to move on to the next step. So we've named the deal. We know that the trigger event is when the deal is updated. So if the deal value is greater than 2,500 and the currency is US dollars or British pounds, then the deal will be marked hot and the stage in the pipeline will be updated to qualified. So let's mark this active and we'll click save. Now we can see that this hot deal trigger has been added and I'm gonna go over to my deals on the left hand side here and I know I have one with Bravo Inc and I forgot to put in the deal value and I need to update it in order to get the trigger to fire. So I'm gonna put it at 3000. That again, remember our condition was greater than 2500 in USD or British pounds and it will update the stage as well as marking the deal as hot. So let's refresh and now we see Bravo Inc. deal is hot and the stage has been moved from prospecting to qualified. This is just one example of many things you are able to do currently with sales triggers. Again, we will be adding more and more functionality throughout the year, so please stay tuned and thank you for watching.